let's check out what I'm doing here. I'm gonna try to do the pre-production track so I have something on my ears later on when I go to the studio and record the thing for real. I have my guitar here. Gonna do the pre-production now. So. Let's see, what do I need? I need a camera, camera and the lens. My trusty gray card to know where I'm gonna be sitting or at least where my head's gonna be. This is the actual shot and then I can use the camera slider movement to go all the way to here. Actually this symbol here, I don't even need it. So maybe I just take off this part of the rack right here. Because I mean, on drums, this song is the most boring song I have ever recorded. This actually makes sense. If we look at it like this, I have way more space to move from here, let's say, all the way to here. Okay, so this has to go way into the corner because I really want to hide this as good as possible. Probably that's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm gonna remove the softbox. Let's see what the camera sees. All right, so that's way, way better. Awesome, nice, very nice. Okay, so you can see, may maybe you can see that. What I like to do is to use this fog machine and haze up the place a little bit. This really gives it a little more depth in the video later. It's a couple of days later, so I have my iPhone here and uh, show you the change setup. Uh, so now I actually have three cameras running for the first recording. I think we can record now. Okay, that was... All right, stop the cameras. I guess that was okay. So now moving everything around and get the same shot of the same song again. Okay, that was good. All right, I think it's one week later. What I'm gonna do now is take apart half of the drum kit so you can have a better view on playing guitar. I'm gonna set up the camera slider here and everything. Yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> Okay, everything is set up, I think. Let me show you what the setup looks like, uh, at least for the first shot. So here we have the key light and back here that rim light. So we have some colored light down here facing to the, to the back. And back here we have a lot of candles like usual. So yeah, let me show you the camera. So this is the, the main camera going from here. Yeah, I mean, you know this shot going from here to here more or less. Then I have the other camera right here facing up a little bit and the third camera going just just onto the onto the face. Okay, uh, clean guitar attack eins. Okay. I think that was all right. I did not notice any mistakes. I think I'm I'm going to leave it with this here and not doing any time lapses because you you know what's going to come next. It's just again, I'm going to leave all the lights like they are. I'm going to take all these three cameras and put them in a different place, get different camera angles and play the song again and again and again to get more coverage of everything. And then tomorrow do the same thing with the other guitar and the scream vocals. And then the day after that, it's gonna be all about the bass. All right, a couple of weeks have gone by and I finished editing the video. Let's take a look at uh, what we have here. The first thing that I did is uh, import all the files into DaVinci Resolve. 
and you can right away see there are a lot of files. So these are all the video tracks. I think I've never done a video with so many video tracks. So let's see, we have 33. Something else that I did right away was if you look at the image right here, it looks really flat. That's how it looks like right out of the camera. And uh, it takes some work to make it look real, like how you see it in the room. So that was the first thing that I did, like just convert this flat image into how it's supposed to look. So that's what I did with all the video tracks converted to something realistic. So right after that, I think it's always a good idea to try to stay as organized as possible because with so many tracks and such a long song, you can easily lose track of what's what. And so I color coded all the instruments so up here orange are the drums green is guitar one yellow is guitar two and blue is bass so yeah you can already see everything is cut up here into very little pieces talked about that before what i do is i just listen to the song and while it's playing i hit the cut button <laughs> basically uh, whenever i think that there should be a camera switch and that's what it looks like uh, later on so uh, you can see it's basically still the exact same thing but all the gray cubicles here are the deactivated track on top of everything there's always with the drum parts so if i activate this track again you can always see the drums and everything that's underneath there is not visible so i have to deactivate these tracks or i can also delete them but the downside of deleting them is whenever i think later on ah, okay no i don't want to see the guitar i want to see the bass or something then it's deleted and uh yeah i cannot go back or at least it's a big hassle so um yeah i find it much easier to deactivate these tracks so yeah this is basically the rough edit just switching the angles how i like to see the the finished video so the next step was uh, i knew that i was happy with the rough cut of the edit so i delete now all the unused video tracks to have only one track here uh, and you see with all the different colors, drums, guitar two, bass, guitar two, and so on. So now I go to all the fine details uh, between the cuts, like uh, see if it's really cutting to a different angle at the exact point that I want or uh, move it a couple of frames forward or backward uh, so that it is really precise. So after that, after watching the video a few times and I really know, okay, everything is on point. There comes the color grading. So this is more time consuming actually. What I did was go into all the clips again and just cool the colors down. So you can see here it's way more like a bluish color. It feels a little cooler adjusting the white balance to that. And then the actual grading. So let me show you just a little bit what I did there. So the first thing that I did was uh, to work on the white balance a little bit more. So this is before and after. Uh, so it looks a little cooler, but not artificially blue, I think. Then I added a little bit of contrast before and after. Then I did the teal and orange look that you see a lot in movies. If we talk about the skin first, if you see here on my face, uh, this is before and after. So you can see it gets a little more orangey right here. And uh, then of course the rest of the image. Uh, so everything except the skin gets this bluish kind of color. Then the next thing is the candles. I just wanted them to pop out a little more if before and after. So this is also ever so slight before and after. It's all the details, you know. Then I did some light streaks. I've done that before in other videos as well, but I wanted to have that really subtle before and after. Then I did a little skin refinement. So if you go close to the face here, uh, so I just isolated the, the skin color and get the details a little lower. That's the thing with the digital cameras. Everything looks really sharp and crisp and sometimes over sharpened and artificial. This is before and after. So you can see here it's a little smoother. After that, I just added a vignette before and after. Yeah, the last thing is just to add some film grain before and after. I think uh, with the YouTube compression, you cannot really see that. But yeah, so that's the entire thing. So this is straight out of camera. And this is with, with my grading afterwards. This is the final video. I mean, with the, as I said, with the titles in the beginning, 
And yeah, with the special thanks too at the end and also with the message mixed and mastered by Roadkill Music Production. Yeah, so I exported it. That's the final video, but it's not over yet uh, because yeah, then I right away did the social media thing. So yeah, I picked two uh, parts uh, where I adjusted everything to this nine by 16 format, just like a 30 second, one minute video of that, readjusting all the, the camera shots for these two clips, exported those. So I have those two ready to post on Instagram soon. And yeah, basically that was everything for the video editing. Yeah, and so the last step is to create a thumbnail for YouTube. And I thought, uh, yeah, I mean, that was the idea behind that too, because it pissed me off so much with all these, you mentioned Bursum once in a Facebook post or Instagram and something, you get banned or blocked or I don't know what, uh, for 30 days and stuff like that. So totally, insane bullshit sorry to say like that uh so yeah i thought i'd go with just a screenshot of the video with censored over my eyes bosom and censored over the band name and the song title yeah so this was a long journey for the first video in a really long time i hope you enjoyed this video see you in the next one